Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at Sunset Gower Studios in Hollywood. I'm delighted to be joined with Raphael with his movie, A Song of the Land. Let's take a look at the clip. Uh, Raphael, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for bringing your wonderful film to us. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. No, thank you for having us. Um, A Song of the Land is such an impressive film. It was so special to see it on the big screen last night. But for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Well, I just uh, a Mexican crossing the border and um, he literally, for the heat, he faint on the middle of the desert and then he got... Uh, uh, <clears throat> say by this uh, interesting character who bring into this uh, uh, camp mm -hmm. full of uh, foreign people making music who make him realize that the land doesn't belong to nobody. It's such a beautiful story like I felt like I was just so so happy that someone came up with the idea of it now obviously you play the star in, in, in front of camera um, but obviously and you you know, I want to go more into that later. Uh, but where did the story come about? Where did the story, I know you work with, um, you know, Caesar. where did the story come about in, in creating this project? Well, um, Caesar, uh, he's Mexican. Yeah. So he understand what uh, an immigrant is mm -hmm. here in the United States. So he come out, when he gave me for the first time the, the, the site for the audition, I was like, feel so connected with the words. because. Mm -hmm. He's a Mexican writing for the Mexicans, and, and, and it was beautiful. So he came out with this article that he, uh, uh, he saw on the, on the news and some family stories, and that's how he came out with the, the story. Yeah, and, and I love this, this idea that the land doesn't belong to anyone. And it was so lovely to see all of these nations coming together, people from different countries, through the power of music. And, and that was such an amazing experience. What was it like for you playing this character? Because obviously it was a lot. I can imagine where you filmed it was quite hot too. Like how did you get involved in, in taking on this role firstly? Well, first I started to do my research. So I, when he gave me the script, I really want to understand what uh, feels to be an immigrant crossing the border yeah. on the desert. Yeah. On the very and a very extreme uh, temperatures, so I read this. I saw this documentary in the New York Times, um, and it was crazy. People was dying on the desert because they can. They just it was so hot. They they, yeah. they couldn't handle it. And yeah. then uh, I listened to this podcast, and uh, literally people was calling the nine one one, and uh, telling to the police like uh, my partner just died and I'm mm. about to die too so mm. if you guys can come to help me based on that um, I start to prepare my character because um, you know it's, it's, it's someone is crossing the border you know so yeah. I don't want to look like a, I'm going to camping yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so talking to a friend a good friend of mine um, he's like I think you should do something physical yeah on the on set Exactly. So I run with a sweater on the desert, what? and my <laughs> it was a hundred degrees. Everybody was so concerned about me, but like, no, I'm fine. Whenever <laughs> I, if he's if I feel so weird or something, I I will let you guys know. And and it was crazy. You really start to feel like your body start to react in a different situation. Yeah. Your your lips start to dry up. I didn't drink any water until the end of the scene, and wow. it became real. And I, and, and I started to understand, like, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And, and yeah. maybe uh, people live in a bubble, mm -hmm. and I think, including myself sometimes, and we have to break the bubble, pop up the bubble to, to be able to understand the the others, you know, yeah. like those kind of situations Absolutely. And, and the reason where they're coming from and all that. So it was really interesting to 
to be on the desert and it mm. was fun too mm. it was like many many stories yeah oh i'm sure i'm sure you got stories within the context of even making that film um you know this is uh you know it's it's i think anyone that is traveling across any border you know it's one of the most courageous things you could possibly do i always think to myself like you know that that's a lot for someone to undertake to, to leave loved ones to go into the unknown um, and it's a situation that happens obviously here a lot and you know in, in our borders um, and then of course your character is so nervous about what they're going to encounter on that side who to trust and I thought you played that really well in just that being cautious about other people but how lovely it was that this involvement of other people from other places and how wonderful it would be if we all believe the land doesn't belong to us and we appreciated that. Like, was that something that was released that you liked in about the script particularly is that that, you know, that situation? Yeah, I loved it. I feel like uh, that after making the film, it made me understand if he, everyone will make their part mm -hmm. as a human being, it will be a different world. Mm -hmm. But not about our egos, you know, like, yeah. oh, this is me or that. No. If we everybody make their part, a, a simple thing is like um, trash on the streets. Yeah. If we, everyone is conscious that to put everything in the right place or something like that, it will be a different city, a different yeah. situation. So I think that's what it is around the world, at least in my point of view. If we, everybody make this part, it will be a different situation. Absolutely, here. absolutely. And um, what have you? learn mostly from this project uh well i think i learned a lot i learned i learned to drive uh Cassandra one day called me and he's like oh um do you think you can rent a rb <laughs> well like yeah yeah because because at that time he was he couldn't rent it and you have to be someone older. I'm like, yeah, I'm old enough. <laughs> but he's like, I want you to to try the RP. It was like, oh, <laughs> all the way from Orange County to Joshua Tree. Oh wow! And that was my first time driving an RP. So I was like driving, my hands were sweaty. And, wow! But I did it, and it was so. Chicken. So you didn't expect that one, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't expect that one. So I tried. I learned how to drive an RP, and and something that I learned too is like how. It's crazy to, I just need something physical to to portray that character, but imagine the people who's crossing the border and those extreme weather or situations, um, it's crazy. And you really need to have a, 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 a crazy need to be able to do those extreme situations to, yeah. and only that, it's just like, just crossing the border is part of it. Like when you get here, you have to establish yourself. You have to, start over again yeah you know absolutely and absolutely. it's a different language so you have to understand and learn the language yeah. and everything so yeah i learned that it's crazy to 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 just cross the border like that is is i think i think it's such an important thing whether someone's been through it themselves or or known someone who has gone through it or doesn't know enough about it it's such a an important film to see to really understand what one goes through to, to do to do that and what it takes um it was amazing seeing your film on the big screen it deserved a big screen with the beautiful cinematography and and everything what was it like for you we certainly loved having your film at new filmmakers la but what was it like to see the film on the big screen great i think um so i started as a grip and for me, it was, it was at the beginning of my career, it was very important to understand the film language. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of crazy because I didn't speak that much English. So they give me a headset and they asked me like, oh, bring me a lollipop. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, what is that? Or an apple <laughs> box or things like that. So it was uh, interesting to just enjoying the journey you yeah. know and 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 when you work with passionate people like i have the fortune to work in this set and others every single situation is just part of the journey mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
but you're there to fight for it, to yeah. really find the solution. Yeah. And I think that's filmmaking. And, and as an actor, I really enjoy to put my hands on, on, on everything and try to help around. But yeah. And, and yeah, it's, it, I think that's a beautiful part for me, like that community and understand yeah. that story telling it really can make the difference and mm -hmm. and and it's a window or a door yeah it's a door to 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 people understand without any things are they had um yeah I, I mean you, the fact that you you know i love that you were a grip and you got to really appreciate all the roles uh, you know, within a film set and I love that we got to see now you on the you know in front of camera as well. It's an amazing you know experience, and I think it's really nice that you know people do get to appreciate all of those roles. And it's a collaborative effort, isn't it? As well, it takes you know, a village to make a film. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, Rafael, what is next for you? What is next for you? You know, you together. I'd love to know what's coming up. So I'm working with uh, Cesar, uh, the director. To we're writing. We wanted to make a TV show. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and also I'm uh, on this uh, theater group, it's Laos and Rec. And uh, we're writing plays right that's now. That's amazing. Yeah. It's... Are you going back in front of camera? Yeah, well, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would love to, you know, it's really hard to, like, even now that I start writing, it's so hard. It's like preparing a, a role, a character, mm -hmm. you know, you have to, do all the research and everything to be able to, and then you put a word in there. But in this situation, it's like, I think it's, um, it's very interesting for me to see other people uh, portray what you've been yeah, working on. Yeah, as a writer, you know? yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you're doing everything, so it's great. I mean, honestly, and, and you and Cesar have a wonderful relationship and you're making really good, good projects. So we're just very happy. Thank you for bringing a Song of the Land, which was just an important film on so many levels and very well acted, very well directed, uh, Cesar as well. And we're looking forward to seeing your next project. So thank you very much. No, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Rafael Lewin.